Hello everybody, it's Pineapple here, and so today we're talking about, of course, Master Duel and its ladder system, and of course we're talking about Lab. Now, here's the list that I've been playing, found reasonable success with it. Uh, I think it hits pretty much every sweet spot of, you know, what you want to get, what you want to do with Lab, which is, you know, throw out really powerful removal traps and floodgates, and we have, of course, all of those which are, you know, the meta important and relevant ones. So let's hop into the card by card. First up, of course, we're playing Driver and Gamma because it's at two, which means we can play it. My beloved is back in my hands. Uh, I miss him so much over in the TCG, but, you know, we got to play what we got to play. Uh, insulating from Ash Blossom, which is everywhere in this format because of Maxi is very necessary. Um, and then we, of course, have a copy of Clock, the boy. He's the legend. He lets you activate stuff to turn it set, so all your searches off Lady are incredibly important. Uh, three copies of Maxi, of course, it's the best card in the game. Uh, two copies of Gamma, he's back. And, of course, three copies of Stovey, since we have Chaos Angel now, you know we're playing the boy at three copies, so we can do anything and everything to find him to make Chaos Angel. Two copies of Ash, uh, I couldn't find space for the third, I really tried to trim it down to 40 cards, but, you know, of course, I couldn't find the space, so we're on Ash Blossom at two copies. Two copies of Chandra, again, the furniture is such a big minus, especially into Called By, which you'll see in this video, uh, and subsequently... Chandra is unfortunately only at two because the furniture can really minus you, really hurt you. Three copies of Ariana because we need a really strong normal summon. Uh, Magnemut and Druus because, you know, tier element is everywhere and we don't want to lose to them. It's a necessary thing that we have to play. I'd prefer to be playing more, but they are level six darks, which means with Ariana they can't make Chaos Angel, which is really good. Two copies of Fenrir for discard fodder off the furniture as well as just being a body who's removal. A copy of Lovely, two copies of Lady. Two copies of Pot of Extravagance, because I need, you know, consistency cards. Um, and then one Pot of Prosperity, my beloved. We can't play, of course, Ulti Slayer, because we do it to play Extra. But, you know, the one Prosperity is very nice. Uh, it comes up very much when you need it to. A copy of the Field Spell, EEV, just because it's Eradicator to be, you know, exactly evenly matched. Evenly matched is very prevalent in this format, so, you know, we gotta play it. Um, a copy of Dimensional Barrier, just to win games in and of itself. Three copies of Imperm, Necessary Hand Trap. Punishment just as removal because we don't have all the great, you know, things to send off glitch yet. Uh, the fact that we can't, you know, send and stuff for the Unchained stuff yet means we are still on Punishment. We don't go into our extra enough to justify it. A copy of Ice Dragon since we're in tier meta. Ice Dragons is very, very, very strong because we can remove the Fusion Monster and a card on field, usually a Sheeran. Two copies of Welcome as is standard. A copy of Terrors of the Overroot since cash is everywhere. It's also back for a removal, which is really, really strong. Three copies of Big Welcome, the Heart and Soul of the deck. And then in the extra, we have two copies of Ventus, a copy of Garura, a copy of Stardust for Axel, a copy of Omega in case we really want to go into it off of, you know, uh, Gamma, as well as just, you know, a good punishment target occasionally. Um, a copy of Axel, a copy of Baron, two copies of Chaos Angel, the boy, uh, a copy of Nightmare Phoenix to beat weird players who play Royal Decree, a copy of o Lambda, and two copies of Muck, a copy of Goddess, and a copy of Bucephalus to send Garura. So with that, let's hop into some games. Not as scary as a lot of people think it is, especially for a deck like Labyrinth. Um, so our opponent's going to start with Ogre, they'll grab Frap, and from here they'll go for Rise Heart, they'll special summon Ascended of Thunder, which is a relatively good start for them. Uh, they'll proceed to set two and pass back to us. Uh, and this game is about to go really, really hard. They'll start with Prep, which is really great because they get to get back their Unicorn because they're presuming that, you know, their Shang is going to resolve. It will not be because Gamma is about to drop. Uh, God, I love this card. Please bring him back so that I may, you know, commit war crimes and protect my welcomes with him. Uh, I'm normal and can be trusted with him. I'm just kidding. This card should probably never return. Our opponent's going to get to rip, you know, two cards, and unfortunately their Ogre is going to find our copy of Lovely because the universe hates me. But uh, truth be told, we don't need Lovely. We're going to be able to outgrind them uh, exceptionally well anyways. Um, and they're going to take our Lambda, but that's fine. We weren't keeping our copies of you know, Gamma and stuff anyways. So from here we'll make Oxel, uh, and this is why Oxel's so great, because it gets to make us a uh, bar on the floor, and Baron's going to pop our copy of Prep. This is important because, you know, we want to be able to trigger our copy of Big Welcome without losing a card to our hand in another zone to Shang. Uh, from here we'll get D-Barrier, because we lost our Eradicator to a copy of, you know, Rysart. We'll banish their Shang um, with the boy and from here we will just walk over the entire board the last card is evenly matched so we have to burn a negate here which is very unfortunate uh playing around infirm kind of cost me my baron negate but that's okay because we can baron tag out into a copy of lady anyways um just everything we could ever ask for or here and they've got to find something pretty good they will go with swords of concealing light which is you know relatively strong uh kind of breaks our board apart um, and they'll go for Prosp here, uh, find a copy of Birth, you know, everything you can ask for. Last card is, of course, Birth on the Prosp. Um, but it is what it is. 
Um, from here, they'll get to get back this Cafe Shang, and this Ice Dragon's Prison is going to remove everything from the board. Um, and from here, uh, in the end phase, we're just going to get some recursion going. Uh, I'm BMing a little bit here with the Big Wokum. Um, and by that, I mean, I forgot that, you know, hidden information doesn't let me bounce my copy of Lady, but we need to get that clock anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It matter. Uh, from here, we're just going to clean this game up real nice and simple, uh, and fire off clock, um, just cause, uh, and for, we'll get back our copy of, you know, Lady, uh, we'll get out another Lady, make the second Chaos Angel. This is why the second Chaos Angel, you know, does matter, because sometimes you make it and, you know, you got to clean up board states. Um, just a big beater, uh, gets you there in the end. So, for our second match, we're up against, of course, you know, everyone's favorite deck, Sword Soul. Uh, from here, we'll Special Fenrir, uh, Normal Soul, and Arionic be met with Ash Blossom because the universe hates us, but we've drawn the barrier anyway, so it's okay. Uh, for draw phase, we'll drop this Maxi because we don't really have any other monster interactions. They will fire back this copy of Called By, and it is what it is. They'll go to the battle phase to attempt to drop evenly matched. Start a battle, we'll fire off Dimensional Barrier, we'll call Synchro. We're going to get a little lucky here. We'll banish our Ariana face down because our Fenner is our only interruption. They'll go for Emergence, and then proceed to make Baguska. Uh, why, why you would play Baguska in Sword Soul is beyond me, but it's a pain in the neck right now. Now, uh, Lady doesn't do anything, so we'll have to be forced to pass back to our opponent. Uh, and just pray that they don't have a way to, you know, clear our board. Uh, and fortunately, they don't. So they'll set another one and pass back to us. Uh, and we're kind of just sitting here staring at each other. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, we'll fire off Chandra. We'll go get a copy of Big Welcome and special out this lady just because. Uh, just getting board presence here. You know, we're going to play into Zeus. Um, just the belief that he doesn't have it is, uh, you know, fueling my my soul. Um, so they'll start with Long Pitch Ashuna, which is about as bad as it gets for us. Um, they'll go for Ashuna. They'll get Vish. Um, and then proceed to make Chungus, uh, just a horrible, horrible situation for us here. They'll make Vish, uh, they'll make the Monk, go for Vish, um, and they have not, you know, switched the Baguska, so unfortunately for them, uh, it is going to be negating the Chungus. Um, we'll proceed to get back everything we could ask for here on the Crackback, um, and they'll just pass to us, and phase we get to, you know, set another welcome. Um, this is a really solid position for us, because we can get to Lovely. Um, and start to reset this D barrier. Clock is a really nice draw here. So we'll fire Clock and then proceed to Chain Lady and Big to put this copy of, you know, the tape here back in hand. They'll chain Imperm, which is pretty disastrous for us. Um, but fortunately, um, they're going to attempt to trigger Chengus. Um, we're going to go for everything. They'll banish our D barrier so it doesn't get reset by Lovely. Um, and then they're going to banish our Fenrir, which is, you know, great for us because banishing Fenrir means uh, we can just make Chaos Angel to clear the Chengus and wrap this board state up all nice and neat. Um, just an exceptionally quick cleanup here, and there's no one Sword Soul card except Taya that really gets them there. Um, and fortunately for us, uh, we have the ability to, you know, remove the Taya if they do find it. Ashuna is just as good, but um, we'll proceed to go for Ice Dragons, and our opponent is going to say, I've seen enough. We'll get enough discard fodder for Chandra to get back the clock, and our opponent will scoop it up. So for our next match, we have unfortunately opened two pots, which is uh, bad news for us. Um, so we'll go for extra first and proceed to get Maxi, which is fine by me because uh, we don't we don't have a ha hand that does anything involving special summoning. So we'll take the minus one. We'll pitch the Frost for a copy of Welcome and then set three and pass to our opponent here. Uh, draw phase. We'll drop the Maxi just because I'm a, I'm an evil human being. They'll special Ogre, and fortunately for us, you know we are. You know, that Maxi is paying off. So we go for Sheeran here, proceed to mill three, and we'll hit them with the Ash Blossom here because uh, I don't think they have any more uh, gas. I'm going to bank on that. Uh, I've been ogred, and they've ripped Lovely too many times. So we'll fire off Welcome, and I'll risk playing into Super Poly. We'll take a Welcome. They'll go for Talents here, uh, and that's fine by me. They'll go for Dress Strudo, and we will proceed to banish it with our copy of Magnema. Uh, from here, they will set one. They'll go to battle here, uh, and we want to keep this Magnema in the hand because it is tier element, so we'll proceed to, you know, get back all of our stuff and let our opponent, you know, clean up our board here. They'll crash our Lovely so that we don't get it back at the end phase, and they'll proceed to walk over the rest of the board, and that's fine by me. Uh, we'll set this D barrier so it's online for next turn off of Ariana, and end phase will go grab Jerus here, and we'll start to clean up the board state here. We, we're way ahead on card advantage, and from here we will proceed to put back this copy of Ogre and force them to fire prep, hopefully to, you know, avoid having our stuff get banished. Um, and they'll proceed to, you know, activate prep anyways, remembering it has text, and I will be very sad about it. So we will pitch the big welcome, and they will take this copy of Jerus out of our hand. We'll go for, for Imperm here just so that we can get a set. Uh, I really would like to get, you know, the field spell effect to get back lovely, but, you know, it's fine if we don't. Uh, we'll walk over the ogre, um, set, you know, punishment, 
uh, three removal traps and a welcome with the field spell off is basically an FTK, especially when we have Lady and the Fistula against Tier Element. Uh, and end of phase, we will go for Lady, we'll set Eradicator, go for Ariana, pop the set, it's an evenly matched. Uh, we'll even get to search here, and our opponent's going to see enough, and per se, let's go next. So, for our last match, it's a Tier Element match filled with misclicks and misplays, because uh, I think that's the funniest way to showcase this deck. Um, we'll drop, you know, uh, of course, the boy in draw phase, just so much fun. We'll go grab Rhino Heart here and proceed to set one and pass. I presume that's a misclick. We'll go get Big Welcome in the end phase. Just, you know, everything we could ask for here. Draw for turn, it's Lady. Uh, we'll go to main, fire big, get Ariana here, uh, and then proceed to trigger Stovey, and then normal Ariana. We'll get a Welcome. Um, we'll trigger Lady here. I don't know why I chose to play into even matched. Uh, we'll just walk Ariana in to confirm it is, in fact, Rhino Heart. From here, we'll make a copy of Lambda. This is the first time I've ever made Lambda. Uh, end phase, will go for Ball Drake here. That's fine. You know, it is what it is. Uh, and this Gamma in our hand's gonna go, go crazy here. We'll go for Sheeran here, pitching Murley, spinning a whole bunch of, you know, really strong cards. We'll go for Druus, we'll, you know, hit this Murley out. Um, and then we'll proceed to grab Crime off of a Scream. We'll go for Talents, they'll take our copy of uh, Druus for some reason, and then link it away, and we will send a Dark that they overlaid for. Um, they'll make uh, redoer here. We'll bounce the redoer here before, to force it out and then chain gamma so that it doesn't get to, you know, perform any fusions. Um, and then the homo rhino, which is about as good as it gets for them. Uh, we will go for welcome and we will chain lady here. We'll go for Ariana. We'll set the barrier and they unfortunately have enough gas to make Kaleido. So this clock we are searching basically doesn't do enough. Uh, from here, they are going to get to spin back our copy of dimensional barrier, which really sucks. They'll get to walk over all of our stuff. Uh, and by that, I mean they'll get to walk over exactly uh, this copy of Lady. End phase, we'll get a search with Lambda, uh, which is really good for discard fodder for what we're about to do, which is make Muckraker. This is why Muckraker is so good. Just uh, two bodies in a simplified game state means that you can get back to your engine completely fine. Um, so we'll go get a copy of Big. We'll fire Clock here, which is a great draw. We'll immediately go for Big. This crime is completely offline because they don't have a card in hand. We'll reset Welcome. Uh, we'll proceed to reset this Imperm. Go to Battle here. Uh, and being able to carefree, you know, walk over everything is pretty great for us. Um, especially when we can clean up this board with the big welcome grave by putting the Kaleido back. Um, and from here we'll go for Lovely to rip the last card. They'll chain Maxi, we'll pop the Crime, and this will give them back a Merly that we banished off our Druids. But seeing as they know that we have Imperms, they will proceed to scoop it up because the Imperm contests. Uh, now, I certainly enjoyed the Master Climb. Uh, if you want to see me, you know, go through the Master and Climb, come over to my, you know, Twitch channel, twitch.tv underscore pineapplewagio, um, where I will be, you know, tormenting myself with more Master Duel and Maxi, but uh, I hope to see you guys there, and if you did enjoy this content, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.